for our next option for our background, I'm going to show you how to dry brush this beautiful background. So what you're going to need is a dry brush. So I'm going to wash my brush. And if you want to do dry brush, you should probably paint it one color and then go back and put dry brushing on top of it. So with this dry brush, what you do, I'm going to dry brush black since you'll see it the best. So put a little bit of paint on, then take a little bit off using a paper towel or if you have a, like, a paper, like a paper on the back. And what you're going to do, make sure you dry brush at the end because sometimes like I destroy my brushes when I dry brush. So all you have to do is put a little bit of paint on and you're just going to go left to right and add some streaks. And it gives it like that rustic, shabby, chic. And once you need more paint, just go back. And you want to be really light with your brush. Because sometimes when you put too much paint on, it's hard to go back. But if you put too much paint on, if you could get it immediately, use like a wet paper towel or a wipe to wipe it up. But if you can't get it immediately, you could always just paint your background color on top of it. And then we'll let the streak dry and then paint the background top on top of it and then put more streaks. Try and blend it. So there, you got some streaks. The bigger the brush, so this is a small brush so it has smaller streaks. If you have a brush like this at home, you can make like bigger streaks. And you know what, what works best is like old brushes that you've used to paint your house and stuff because sometimes they have a weird texture and that'll give you nice strokes, but this will work just fine, the one that we gave you. Um, so once your background dries, then you can move on to your letters and your outline. You can do all your pieces and just come back for the video where I show you how to put everything together.